If you're trying to cut down on starch but you still love to enjoy your fufu, keep watching because I'll be showing you two ways on how to make plantain fufu. Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen, it's your girl Claudie and today I will be showing you two easy and quick ways on how to make fresh plantain fufu. If you are new here, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like this video, don't forget to turn on that notification bell so when I post any of my videos, you are going to receive that alert. And to my returning subscribers, I just want to take this moment to thank all of you for all the likes the comments in fact i don't know how to repay you guys but trust me we are in this together and i appreciate you to start off right here i'll be using foam on ripe plantains my plantains a little bit dark like this because when it's in the refrigerator it changes its color so you want to go ahead and peel all of that accordingly I'll now go ahead and slice this so that it can easily blend. Cooking with Claudi, easy simple recipe. Ah, cooking with Claudi, cooking with Claudi, easy simple recipe. Ah. Now it has been peeled and sliced, transferred to a blender with some water. And guys, you want to blend this until it is 100% smooth, okay? So guys, for the exact amount of plantains and water to use, please check the description box for the detailed recipe. So in the pot, I will go ahead and add in that. African, Asian, American and worldwide recipes. Pastries and bakes. African, Asian, American. Since I will be showing you two easy ways, I will take some of these and put inside a bowl like this and I will go ahead and put a little bit of water in them, mix that onto well combined and this is going to go to the microwave for 5 minutes. While the second method inside a pot, I will just go ahead on medium heat, you want to start stirring that with a whisk to avoid it from having lumps, okay? So when it starts to thicken up, you can now use a wooden stick or a wooden spoon to start folding it so that it has, so it comes together just like how a dough comes together, that's how you want to make it. You want to make it to come together just like this, then what we are going to do next we're going to add a little bit of water inside, cover the pot so that it can fully cook, okay? When you put just a little bit of water, you this is going to cook for about five more minutes. While that is cooking, let us go to our microwave to fufu that is looking so good you want to go ahead and mix that onto well combined so guys for the microwaved version i would recommend that if you're making just a little quantity you can use the microwave but if you're making a lot of it then you can go by cooking that in a pot on medium heat okay so now i'm just gonna wrap that in a cling film easy to follow from kids to adults Cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah, cooking with Claudie, cooking with. So this has been fully cooked. Let us go ahead and give that a quick stir, and we're going to wrap it in our cling film. Cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah, Cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah. 
So guys, you can go ahead and serve this with whatever sides, be it okra, afang soup, eforiro, whatever soup. It is a very, very versatile type of fufu. It goes with everything. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. Let me know what you think about this video and to meet again. Bye for now.